Hey guys, we're here in Hollywood, California. Below me is not only the place where many of the legendary movie studios are located, but also the studio where we shot Decker vs. Dracula, the unfairly, prematurely aborted movie series, which a lot of people are very upset was canceled ahead of its time. I'd like to thank you all now for your support. I've gotten thousands, if not millions, of letters, cards, emails, and messages on message boards for movie buffs who are furious uh, that Tim Heidecker has terminated what was shaping up to be uh, a true Oscar winner. And James Dean heads are also quite angry because Decker vs. Dracula represented James Dean's return to the silver screen, his first starring role since 1956, and Giant with Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson. Today we are going to discuss uh, the unfinished Decker versus Dracula finale. And we're not just gonna discuss it, we're actually gonna show you uh, what that episode would have been like had we been able to complete it using storyboards, previously unseen footage, and new dramatic reenactment to bring this conclusion to you. Now, the original Decker versus Dracula would have been 20 episodes with a two hour finale. Unfortunately, because Tim has locked me out of the studio facility, I am uh, unable to retrieve some of the footage that was shot and bring you all 20 episodes. However, we can bring you uh, the unseen, uh, sort of reduced in length, but it's still there in spirit, the finale. Now this is very different uh, to some of the things that Tim discussed in his shocking documentary hatchet piece, which maybe some of you have seen. I've seen it. I didn't think it was accurate or fair at all, not only to myself, but to our hardworking crew, actors, James Dean and Mark and the rest. Now we will take a look at what would have been Decker versus Dracula, the unseen finale. Today, I am pleased to announce that the menace poised to the world by Dracula has been neutralized. Now, it wasn't easy, but thanks to the efforts of Special Agent Jonathan Kington, the entire world is a much safer place to live. Now, it was Agent Kington who was able to combine his exceptional code-breaking skills as well as his unrivaled knowledge of our enemies, Dracula, Wolfman, the Mummy, and Frankenstein, that he cracked the deconstruction code and saved the day. 20 seconds until Destructicon destroys the world. 10 seconds until Destructicon destroys the world. 1 second until Destructicon destroys the Alert. Code cracked. Got it. Destructico shut I cracked the code. I truly am the master of codes. Jonathan Kington deserves our respect and our praise. But he did not do it alone. If it wasn't for the heroic efforts of acting president, Jack Decker, already a national hero, our separate domestic crisis would not have been handled while I was in Transylvania. But that's not all. There are more heroes to thank. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I would not be standing here today if it were not for the efforts of the ghost of the Three Stooges, Mo, Larry, and Curly, who, after being raised from the dead by Count Dracula, turned against him and drove him into exile. Mo, Larry, Curly! Now it is uh, not all good news, I'm afraid. But fortunately, I'm sorry to announce that the Taliban agent Abdul has double-crossed the United States and he is on the run. It is my hope that he will be apprehended as soon as possible and face justice in a court of law for his crimes. But on a more positive note, as a token of this country's gratitude for Agent Jonathan Kington, I have hereby granted his complete access to the Library of Congress Movie Archives. So he can further his knowledge of classic cinema and keep our country safe. Thank you, Jason. Godspeed. Oh, and uh, save some popcorn for me, huh? It would be a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to say one thing real quick. Oh, of course, of course. Um, there were there were some people along the way who were afraid that Agent John Decker was making a deal with the terrorists with Abdul, and that was just part of his game. If you followed uh, what actually happened to its logical conclusion, of course uh, we would never make a deal with the terrorists and with Abdul in particular. And the fact that Abdul is on the run uh, vindicates that position. I just wanted to make that clear. Thank you. Thank you. Did you like what you saw? I know I did. Folks, we would like to go back, revisit the Decker versus Dracula series and give you the full picture, not just a little framework of what could have been, but the series complete as it was supposed to be. Now I've been getting cards and letters, emails and uh, letters uh, from fans all over the world who say, how can I help? What can we do? Bombarding Tim with hate mail is one step, but it's not working. We've decided to take this to you, the people, so that you can all personally be credited as executive producers, producers, or even have a walk-on role by contributing to a Kickstarter campaign to revisit Decker versus Dracula. Let's see it in its full splendor as it was intended. We're starting a Kickstarter campaign. The address is at the bottom of your screen right now. The budget for this is $248 million. That might seem like a lot, but uh, it's actually not a lot uh, in today's movie-making climate. Pan, which came out recently, I thought it was fantastic, but uh, it, it wasn't as good as what we could do. Pan had a $150 million budget. They didn't have a Transylvanian castle. They didn't have James Dean, one of the most famous actors in movie history. $250 million seems like a lot of money. That's not a number we plucked out of a hat. We've had people sit down, piece it together, and figure out what the budget is. Of course, a big part of the budget is buying out the rights to the Decker character, as well as the characters of Kington and some of the other smaller characters, President Jason Davidson. These are all characters, unfortunately, owned, owned by Tim Heidecker, who uh, is not only a, a, 
kind of uh, the creator of this, but he's also the destroyer of it, much as Dr. Frankenstein and his monster. Tim is the modern day Frankenstein, really, holding this series hostage. For $250 million, we can get this thing up and rolling again, and of course we've got a series of great prizes, including an executive producer credit, which can be yours uh, if you donate. So please get in touch, get on Kickstarter, open up your wallets, and make Decker vs. Dracula, the complete Decker vs. Dracula, a reality. Thanks, folks, uh, and hope to uh, see you at the premiere. Got it.